Now, in this video we are going to have minimal spoilers for the movie Venom The Last Dance. It won't reveal to you what happens in the general layout of the movie, the storyline, but just bits and pieces of the xenophages which I suspect most of you have already seen in the trailers. So the xenophages are portrayed as loyal agents of Null. They are one of his creations. Creations of the same god of the symbiotes. They serve as the main villains sent to Earth with a direct mission to hunt down Venom. The narrative presents them as a sisterhood of the symbiotes, born by a familiar connection created by Null, but they are not of the same species. One such xenophage arrives in Mexico and quickly senses Venom and then shows her deadly ability by leaping into the air, quickly reaching Venom's plane from the ground. Despite being chopped into pieces later on, she possesses the ability to reassemble her fragmented parts, demonstrating why she is a symbiote hunter, being far more deadly than the symbiotes themselves. In contrast, the comics presents the xenophages as a distinct feral alien species that has no personal connection to Null or to the symbiote's family tree. Instead of being linked by shared origins, these creatures are driven by their primal instincts and a unique appetite for symbiotes. They are infamous for hunting symbiotes across the cosmos, feeding on their host's brains. They are drawn to the increased dopamine levels in the host's brains due to their bond with the symbiotes. Over time, the longer a host remains bonded, the more dopamine builds up, making them an even more appealing target for the xenophages. They are brutal and efficient, relying solely on the natural hunting adaptations rather than using advanced weaponry or receiving orders from a higher power. The key difference between the two portrayals lies in their motivations and origins. The film version of the Xenophages focuses on a narrative of family ties and loyalty to Null. This familiar connection contrasts sharply with the comics where the Xenophages are portrayed as alien predators with no affiliation to the symbiotes or their creator whatsoever. Anyway, let's take a look at these creatures from the Venom 3 movie and talk about their biology. The Xenophages are Null's creations, but there's something unique about them compared to the traditional symbiotes. While they are stated to have been made by Null, they don't seem to have been purely composed of the living abyss that makes up the symbiotes or the all-black necrosaur. Instead, they appear to be a blend of a bit of that dark primordial matter mixed with some kind of insectoid flesh and matter. This gives them a distinctly alien look and feel. My own theory is that they are this Venom universe's iteration of the proto-symbiote dragons and that one of these, these larger xenophages sent down to hunt Venom, has taken on the role of the Grendel symbiote, the dragon proto-symbiote. These were in fact the real sister race to the Venom symbiotes in the comics and they are fully loyal to Null, which might have been an inspiration for this universe's iterations of the xenophages. Now, body design. When it comes to appearance, xenophages are a mix of terrifying and fascinating. They have these massive heads with a heavily armored crest on top. Their eyes are an eerily pale blue and their mouths, well, imagine a big mouth filled with rows and rows of serrated teeth that act almost like a conveyor belt, pulling victims in and turning them into, well, red mist. They've got six limbs, each with multiple joints like an arthropod, giving them flexibility and a creepy insect-like quality. Then there are the tails, three long spindly prehensile tails that they use to grab and manipulate prey. The entire body is covered in chitinous exoskeleton and gives them this organic armor, and their torso appears to be slim and somewhat feline-like, which makes them agile predators. As for size and speed, these creatures are significantly larger than any symbiote or their human host. Think of them as roughly the size of a large theropod dinosaur, like a Tyrannosaurus rex or a Giganotosaurus, with a length of just under 12 meters or about 39 feet. But their size doesn't slow them down. They have missile-like speeds, reaching thousands of miles or kilometers per hour in mid-air. One of them was seen catching up to Venom on top of an Airbus A320, which cruises at 830 kilometers per hour or 515 miles an hour and a xenophage caught up with the plane with ease, leaping through the air and arriving like a missile. However, on the ground, it moves slower as seen in the trailer where it chases Venom on a motorcycle. These xenophages from the movies are custom built, created or evolved to hunt symbiotes and they come with a unique set of symbiote hunting abilities. The first is tracking and telescopic vision. So they have these specialized type of vision that lets them lock on to symbiotes and their codices their codex, their vision can zoom in tens of thousands of times beyond what normal eyes can see, which means that they can track their prey from hundreds or even thousands of miles away. Once they have a target in their sights, 
it's pretty hard to shake them off. Then they also have a conveyor belt mouth. Their heads aren't just armored, they house a monstrous vacuum-like mouth. This mouth has multiple rows of sharp serrated teeth that work in a conveyor belt fashion, dragging victims in. When it comes to symbiotes, they're completely consumed and digested, but humans on the other hand are shredded into red mist and expelled from the back of their heads. It is as brutal as it sounds. Compared to the symbiotes, they also have superior strength and speed. So we've already covered here their speed, but the xenophages are also incredibly strong. They're built to overpower a symbiote and its host. Their power level scales depends on the generation of symbiote they're hunting. Venom seems to be capable of holding his own against one, as would a powerhouse like Carnage, but he's dead. However, lesser symbiotes are easily overwhelmed and are easily consumed by these relentless hunters. So next, they also have Sonic Emission. As we know, symbiotes have two major weaknesses, fire and certain frequencies of sound. The xenophages are equipped with the ability to emit these exact frequencies in a focused, directed way. This sound separates the symbiote from its host, making it much easier for them to pick off their targets. What's even more intriguing is that the xenophages can modify this sound to communicate transdimensionally, allowing them to alert null of their findings or call upon reinforcements. They also have armored exoskeletons. So unlike symbiotes which rely on their living abyss like nature, their constituent matter to protect them, xenophages have evolved or developed an armored exoskeleton. This chitinous armor shields them from high velocity weaponry and heavy fire power. On top of that, they don't seem to feel pain, which makes them almost unstoppable in their mission. Then they also have a reassembling ability. While they're not exactly like symbiotes in composition, they have a similar reassembly ability. So when a symbiote is splattered or blown apart, it can merge back together like a jelly or a slime. But for xenophages, despite having a more rigid exoskeleton and insect-like internal structure, they can still piece themselves back together if blown apart, no matter how many pieces they're broken into. These pieces reconstitute and reform into the same xenophage, ready to continue their relentless hunt as if nothing had ever happened. And lastly, as for weaknesses, they don't seem to have any that are noticeable. Yeah, they can be exploded into many different parts, but they would eventually reassemble and continue as if nothing happened. There was one weakness though that was seen in the end of the movie which combines two destructive processes, so to say. But something that we shall not spoil here. Now that's the end of the video on the Xenophage biology. Now lay back for a while and have a long thought about it. And if you're ready then do check out more videos on our channel. We might have things you haven't seen. Anyway, like, subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Take care fam.